Holly Baca is one such politician that helped open the doors for Latinas in government. She first took an elected office more than 30 years ago. Her passion to create social change began as a small child. My being a Latina is why I am in politics. I was actually privileged to be born a poor, uh, a, a female child to a poor Mexican-American family in a very bigoted community. And at the age of three, I experienced bigotry and prejudice because in, in the community where I was growing up in Greeley, Colorado, there was segregation in the churches between the Anglos set in the middle, Mexicans on the side. The theaters were segregated. Uh, Mexi uh, barber shops had signs that said, no Mexicans or dogs allowed. So I uh, experienced bigotry at a very young age, at three years old, and I remember it clearly the first time I, I saw that. Polly knew she needed a formal education to make a difference. She won a scholarship to attend college and received her Bachelor of Arts degree in political science in 1962 from Colorado State University. She then went to work for a trade union newspaper in Washington, D.C. Shortly after moving to D.C., she was recruited to work in President Lyndon Johnson's administration as a public information officer. Ten years later, in 1974, Polly ran for her first office, winning a seat in Colorado's House of Representatives. The first time that I ran, I also got some pushback on my ethnicity, because the district in which I was running was uh, less than 15 percent minorities who, who were registered to vote. So 85 percent of my voters were non-minority. Polly's political success didn't end there. Four years later, she was elected to the Colorado Senate. That was in 1978. Along the way, Polly made a lot of progress to not only change the way voters in her area felt about Hispanics, but more importantly, about women in political office. When I first ran for office in 1974, I was running to fill a vacancy that had been created for a state representative in our district. It was a vacancy in the Democratic Party's nomination. The people that would select the vacancy candidate or, you know, select the candidate to fill that vacancy were the precinct committee people in my district. Uh, I called each of them. I first wrote a letter, then I called each of them, and I got some responses like this. Uh, there was a gentleman, an older gentleman, who I called, and I said, uh, you know, I'd like to come meet with you. And uh, the gentleman said, uh, well, Polly, there's no reason to come meet with me because I'm not going to vote for you. And I said, well, can you tell me why? And he said, because I don't believe women should serve in the state legislature. And quite honestly, I appreciated that because I, you know, I knew that I couldn't get his vote. Interestingly enough, four years later, when I ran for the state senate, there were five men in the race in the primary. And a group of women came to me and twisted my arm and said that I had to run for that seat because it was going to be an open seat. And I was positioned to, to run for that, and no other woman was. And there had never been a woman in Adams County elected to the state senate. So they twisted my arm a little bit, and, and so I got into the race, and eventually all five men pulled out. And so I didn't have a primary. And the gentleman who had refused to meet with me four years earlier became one of my big supporters. Polly has had a long list of firsts in her political career, which include first Hispanic woman in the nation to serve in both the House and Senate of her state legislature. She's also been involved with 12 Democratic National Conventions, dating back to 1964 when she worked for President Johnson. My foundational passion is to guarantee civil rights for everyone. I feel so strongly and passionate about the, op the, the, as Americans, any place in the world, that we ought to all be treated with dignity and respect, and we all ought to have equal opportunity to get health care and education and, and a job and, and, and provide for our families. So it's been a, you know, so my foundational issue is civil rights and uh, equal opportunity. While Polly has worked for political change throughout her elected offices, as well as with work she's done with nonprofit organizations, she feels there's room for everyone in politics. There are so many different levels to become involved uh, with or in uh, with regard to politics. 
and, and they're all valid. You know, not all of us need to run for office. Some of us need to be behind the scenes running those campaigns or maybe doing some fundraising or, or being the... I was a writer, so I first got involved in politics by writing. You know, I did position papers and speeches for, for you know, I ghost... I was a ghost writer for, for some candidates. Uh, you, or maybe you're, you're the kind of person that, that's supposed to lead demonstrations to cause change. That's political as well. You know, if there's a candidate or, or a person who... Uh, isn't isn't uh, fulfilling their responsibilities as an elected official? Uh, maybe you ought to be uh, the leader of the opposition, you know, and organize the, be a community organizer. Those are all political ways to be involved to make a difference, and they're all valid and they're all needed.